Welcome back to the most entertaining entertainment show, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So, back, um, moving on, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth officially single again. Divorce, divorce finalized. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are officially single after their divorce was finalized around five months after the original filing. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, a judge assigned the pair's divorce settlement, which was originally filed in December. And, um... Mm. Like we said yesterday, if you can't handle a relationship, if it's not working out for you, the divorce is an option these days. <laughs> it's not until you stay in a very unhappy marriage, that's mm. when um, you think yeah, you're living your best life, but you're trying mm. to satisfy the society. So if it's not working out, even if it's after two months, two days of the marriage, actually, I think it happened in a, really, in a marriage four days after and he wanted yeah, to speak. I think Nicholas K. Who was that? Who can remind me who that was? What's yeah. that? Somebody who broke up after four days of marriage, they said he was intoxicated during the marriage. Oh. It was a, 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 a Hollywood actor. Really? Mm. Uh, okay. remember remember well, I can't remember, man. Yeah, but... You know, you know the phraseology, irreconcilable differences, is, is pretty much ambiguous. Mm -hmm. Because there are the, the, the issues, there are specific issues. It just can be... What is, what is irreconcilable differences? Or mm. what regard to what's yeah, But I think... I think, I, I think but um, at the end of the day, yeah. it's your core, man. I mm -hmm. mean... Um, I don't think anybody should stay in a marriage if they're not happy about it and yeah. if there are issues going on you feel mm -hmm. you know you can't handle and you can't deal with that it's it's not got to do oh. it's not a t t to to die issue um, yeah. because many people have stayed in there and they've lost their lives especially mm -hmm. when there are issues of physical domestic violence yeah. you know um, so for Ma Miley and Hemsworth it's their life it's their choice their decision and yeah, we cannot true. but just respect it whatever the reconciled with differences was I wish them well and going forward hope they've learned lessons because lessons got to be learned so you don't mm. repeat the same thing if you ever decide to get married again in the next relationship and money moved on pretty pretty fast because pretty, she's, pretty she's with somebody fast. right now already no, you I, know I don't think another part of that so she's with somebody right now another part of the story that caught my attention and got me laughing was that uh, they both uh, they're both happy that they're, they're good and they want to be dedicated parents and to, to their, their pets. pets. Yeah, they call all <laughs> pets. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's better for them to, like, at least there are no kids involved in their wow. split. This is a redefinition of parenting. Yeah, yeah. Parenting no, there are a lot, no, come on, there are a lot of no, American you know, people who feel yeah, that way. Yeah, but you know, when they share pets, I'm with the same deal. Oh my God. Left all the you're, 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 to... you're catering to the pet. You're not parenting a pet. Oh. Let's define it. <laughs> for some of them, it's actually very deep. Okay, so for Liam and uh, Miley, I would say that for somebody who has followed their relationship from the last song, the movie that they were in oh, together. Wow, smile on your face. Yeah, just... like, uh, you know, I was like, I was really rooting for them, mm. you know, when they got back together. Don't root for nobody, baby. <laughs> when they got back together in 2018, I was like, yay, finally, you know, this couple that, you know, a lot of people have been, I won't say idolizing, but like a lot of people have really rooted for. And then a few months down the line, you know, everything just went like... They just separated and everything. Mm. But I, I I hope that whatever it is that they've done, them taking this step, it is for their personal interests. And it will not be a case where anybody feels a longing for the other person. Because even their family members have been complaining that their relationship is becoming toxic. Because mm. they'll break up, they'll come back together, break up, come back together. And it's they were together for exactly They were, they were together for a very years, long yeah. time. And now I hope that this divorce is just going to be like the final one. And just say, okay, let's just be friends. Because another thing that people said is that, you know, this ir um, irreconcilable differences is more or less like they had a clash of lifestyles. Yeah. Um, I think Liam wanted the family. Interest. Yeah, conflict, yeah. you know, of interest. Yeah. Liam wanted maybe like a family woman and everybody knows that my Sarah has said she's a girl who cannot be tamed so <laughs> I think that was where they had like clashes and everything because she actually addressed it in a song she released them slide away after their first their breakup when they separated and all of that so they've come out to like give statements and hints on why they separated and all of that but basically I just wish them well and I hope that they just keep their separate ways separate and not come um, Well, we can't be too sure about that. They may do the diverse thing, but it doesn't mean they will not be seen after hours. <laughs> That's I feel like because somebody you've it. been with for like 11 years now, including your marriage, yeah. that's that's a serious it's relationship. Do you understand? Off, like, off, yeah, so I feel they'll still have their time on, time off here and there, but the marriage thing isn't just working out. Yeah, Not every relationship necessarily has, has to end up in a marriage. Yeah, but they, they, that's you know the way they, were, they were dating for a long time. They didn't yeah, that's why I just that's, that's 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 what I mean by not every relationship, mm. but everybody just believes that's the societal pressure we're also talking about. 
them out. Like people just put pressure on you. Oh, you've been with this person for so many years. It's only right you guys get married. No, it's not only right. Like sometimes it's just better being friends or friends with benefits or friends with this and friends with that. Or you are dating or or you guys friends with benefits. Or your FBs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 okay. That is your partner. You guys are not legally married, but that is your partner. It's it's an it's a contract. I mean, you can be it's friends with benefits. The contract. Be, you can be, yeah, it's, it's, it's a contract. It's some kind of contract also. Okay. I mean, it's an agreement. An agreement. We're not talking about that. Like, that if, you and I, drama. if you and I meet together and say, you know, well, let's just be FWBs, let's be friends with benefit, that's an agreement, right? That's what a contract is. Okay. A contract is an well, agreement. Well, you know that when it comes to like, friends with benefits, it's not really exclusive. No, it's no, not exclusive. It but we have an understanding, now, we have an agreement. Yes. yes. Oh. Now, it depends on the clauses we now put, the conditions we include, you know, in that agreement. That, okay, are we allowed also to mess around with other people while mm -hmm. we're friends with benefits? You know, like that. Can we move on to Eriga? I think I'm <laughs> <laughs>